This playthrough is rated T for teen. The sinking temple filled with minotaurs, men corrupted by some magic gone wrong. The temple, once man's domain, was sunken beneath the waters because the world deemed it so. And now we are here to get to the plane of water and stop whatever is in the black onyx tower. Can we go forward? Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome back here with another episode of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Not Deadly Alliance, like I said at the end of last episode. I have no idea why I said that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I said that. I think I was just like distracted or something like that. I mean, I did mess up the ending of the last episode, so I was like, uh, okay. Uh, off screen, I went to sell everything that I could, which might be the last time I need to worry about a recall potion, anyway. So we might. So I might not even have to worry about the fact that I don't have a push. We'll see what happens. If, if something does happen, I can always go back. But but really, at this point, it's like I need to kind of go forward to the end. You know, like I said last episode, we'll, we're pretty much almost at a no turning back point. We still have to go through the like the sunken temple and everything. So we're not quite done, but um, well, we got the sunken temple and then we got the onyx tower we had to go through. And that's pretty much the end. Yeah, it's kind of weird how we, uh, you know, spoilers, we never actually go back to Baldur's Gate for the rest of the game. Uh, we're pretty much trying to solve whatever this, you know, mystery in this group is. You know, funny how at the beginning it was us, like, Karn stealing our crap, and then here we are, you know, you know, miles and miles away from any civil major civilization uh, because we're adventurers. I guess that's how it always started. The bad thing is we never get, we only get a brief amount of characterization from the, the people we play as, um, sort of in the dialogue. If you play different people or they're the leader of the group, some of the dialogue is slightly different in terms of like, when you ask people certain questions, it, it'll change depending on if you're like the human or the elf or the dwarf, but it's not so major. So I guess you can kind of get a sense of what their characters are like, but I guess the idea of the game is that it's whatever the player inputs upon the person you play as what their what their main like personality is so oh well it's not a big deal it's not like it has to be like they have to have major characterization or anything like that it's just one of those things i like knowing you know for you know war purposes and whatnot but all right should be enough there. Quit charging me. You're not as good as a boulette when it comes to charging. Yeah, that's kind of weird how the boulettes work. They never, when we fought them, they never actually, like, you think they would charge you more often being land sharks, you know, kind of like try to get you with their fins or something like that. No, it never, never kind of comes up, really. They just kind of nom you to death. Nom, 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 nom. At least these minotaurs try to charge you. Not very well, but they try to charge you. Yeah, I remember Minotaurs being a lot more dangerous in D&D. Maybe it's just because they didn't, like, when I encountered them in D&D, I didn't have a floating magical sword that I could cast on whim and a bow that could possibly freeze your opponents, you know. But what do I know? Wait, did I miss? No, I already, never mind. For some reason, I thought that was grayed out, so I thought I missed something. Never mind. It's just because it was at the edge of the map, so it just seems like it's grayed out. <laughs> The only bad thing about the final part of the game is it's going to kind of hurt uh, hurt us as a using our archer builds, but uh, we'll see what we can do. I'll, I'll get to that when we actually get to the point. I, I guess it's not super painful, it just doesn't help. Oh, I should. Yeah, let's get some. Oops, got a little close. Yeah, luckily, for whatever reason, they don't do a ton of damage. Either that, but I'm just getting really lucky. With the uh, um, with the random randomization number, like like with their min max damage and stuff like that, but every time they hit me, I've never seen like a huge jump in my a HP going down. It is kind of weird how like certain segments seem to have like seemingly tougher opponents than a, a new section, another section does. I don't know why. It just it's odd. Maybe they just wanted, they didn't want every single area you come across to be super difficult, so they give you, like, they give you tough enemies for a little while. Or maybe it just depends on your playstyle, like maybe, hello? Well, it's like the next, next way down. Odd. Now well, let's, uh, what the? Selvis, what are you doing here? 
Well, let me make a new save here. Yeah, if, if uh, at the, even if I didn't have a recall potion at this point, I wouldn't be able to recall back to him because now he's teleported back here. Yeah, this is the stairway of water. Um, yeah, we can't recall back to his hut, so we're done on that. And when we talk to him, you'll find out what's going on here in a second. But let's clean this place out so we get as much experience and money as we can. Because we're going to need that. I'm going to have to also decide how I want to uh, go with my character for the rest of the game at this point. But that's why I made a save spot, just in case I want to... Wanna, like, if for some reason I need to import back because I made a major mistake or something like that. I mean, you can still beat the game. It's not like this is one of those games where if you, you know... You get to a point and then you're like basically SOL'd, but let's just say it makes it easier if you're kind of aware of what you're doing. But yeah, just uh, okay, let's get some last minute light the balls out of the way. I guess the only reason to really let the Minotaurs like get close is so you can lightning ball them and then and there's some uh I saw some Minotaurs over that way, so no. Just the two? Oh, I thought there was another one. Well, I mean, there's two, but you know what I mean. Actually, I could save on it. Oh, never mind. I was gonna save on arrows, but there's. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, lightning. And Benatar's weak one weakness, apparently. Who knew? Yep, nothing here, just the experience. Although, the Minotaurs. I guess because they're not as powerful, it makes sense that they're not giving us as much experience. The Boulettes gave us more more experience than these guys did, so... At least I, I feel like it. Yeah, I should have been saving my arrows. Not that I'm, I'm like, low out. Okay, so this is what happens when you get too close. You, they do a ton of damage. So. That's if they punch you. Before, they were only charging me, and they were somehow doing, like, not a lot of damage. Yeah, since I have the money, I might as well just range them for the rest of the game. Since we're almost done with this place anyway. Should be. Oh, that's it? Hmm. Yeah, I keep thinking there's going to be like a treasure in the corner here or something like that. Maybe it changes on if you're playing like easy mode or something like that, but I didn't think that changed the game that much. Hmm. I don't know. Then again, it's been forever since I played like easy or normal mode, so I don't know if there's more chests in it. I don't think there are, but. You know, what do I know? All right, hop to let's hop to it back to the back to Selvish Selvis or say slave us whatever. I know they already pronounced his name, but you know me, I've got bad short-term memory. I have to hear it like multiple times back to back. It seems like otherwise I'm not gonna remember the pronunciation. Maybe it's because it's not the most important thing in my mind, so I, I don't care too much. Apparently, <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's make one more. Actually, you probably should talk to him and then make a save before we jump in. Alright, I don't know how you got here before me. I want to know what magic you used. I want that. Your strength is great. Many enemies lie dead. To attack you is to die. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do that, would you? This is the door to the world of water. Where air, earth, all is water. Human shamans call the world of water element plane. Of water. Thanks for spelling that out to me for the non D and D players. Even though most people who played this game probably were D and D players who were curious about the game, this leads to an elemental plane. How can they this get us into the Onyx Tower? There is gate to element plane of water and tower. There is gate to element plane of water here. You go through this gate, come out through other. Oh, just easy like that, huh? But there's nothing but water beyond the gate. How do we breathe? Slavos has magic. A magic that lets you breathe like fish for a short time. Let you breathe water like air. Last long enough for you to enter tower. Not to get back out. You must destroy tower from inside, then find your own way out. What? That might be a death sentence, depending on if we can't find our way out or get magic or whatever. I don't know about this dude. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, great. Sounds impossible. I better get to it. I need some supplies first. What can you get me for a need? Any business to give? I need you some time before jumping. Yeah, if you... Uh, we need to tell him to cast a spell on us to get to this point. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's have him rest. Okay, I think that's the same anyway. So, 
And he supplies. Okay, so this is it, folks. So he is the last shop in the game. And we, as, I don't think we can recall back to him. I think basically, as far as I'm aware of, we need to, you need to basically buy everything you need and, uh, and hope for good drops inside the Onyx Tower because that's the final area of the game. We're still in Chapter 3. It never goes to, like, Chapter 4 or anything like that. Like, Onyx Tower is the final area of the game, so make sure to buy whatever you need. The only problem is, is that I could buy, you know, like, the plate mail and stuff like that, but it's just the weight situation. Um, it's kind of funny how you can still buy recall potions because as far as I'm aware of, you can't go back. Oh, yeah, and, uh, um, I don't think I mentioned this mission a long time ago. I, we got this a while back, but destroy Eldrith. Use the water stair to enter the Onyx Tower. Destroy the evil inside once and for all. Uh, we should gain a level by the time we're in there. So, I think what I might do is I might just end up selling like a lot of my low end potions and just buy extras, or at least try to use like um, healing rejuvenate potions. Because I'm not sure. I think on the Onyx Tower, I think all that drops is extra at this point. So. Although I could just use these. Uh, it's just a weight situation I have to worry about. Okay, well, let me buy... Let's see. How many arrows can I actually buy? I thought there was like a limit. Uh, let's see, let me buy... How many potions do I have currently right now? I mean, they'll still drop in the tower. It's not like we'll never get those again. It's just, uh, we just have to kind of be more careful about And I'll probably hold off. Um, I mean, I'll leave a save here in case I change my mind and want to buy the mail, but I think I'm going to just uh, take my armor as is. I got quite a few of those. We do have quite a few of the low end stuff, so I might be good on that. Arrows, I'll probably buy some more because I'm not sure how often they're going to drop in the tower. And I might have to. And I don't want to like worry too much about skimming off the top. that make it I'm probably end up just selling the amulet even though it doesn't weigh very much but I'll probably end up getting a better amulet or a protection or I could just buy the, the next step up and I'll probably keep the ring just in case although okay well this is it so yeah make one final save because that's it, folks. So we're in the final area of the game. But the final area does drop some good stuff. It's just be prepared not to pick half of that stuff up depending on what build you're using. So I'll probably end up having to drop stuff at that point. So I don't even think we're going to walk down without talking to him. Let's see. I was just saying if you could. Nope. You have to talk to him to initiate the final leg of the game. So, all right. Let's do this. Let's let's get inside this thing. Are you ready? I could just leave. Return soon. The tower shadow grows while we wait. Okay, wait, wait. All right, let's do this. Are you ready? It's now or never. I'm ready. Listen, you will breathe water for a short time, not for long. Swim fast. My magic will guide you within element plane. It will lead you to gate to tower. No, oh, thank you. I appreciate having a lizard man with a real apparently. Let's see, if, if he can cast Elemental Attunement, that means he's got to be like level uh, like 10 or higher, I think, if I recall the spell. I think the spell is 5th level. I could be wrong, though. I'm ready to go. Okay, now we can go down, so. Alright, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! Yep. <laughs> it almost makes you think there's going to be a cinematic, but yep. And now we're in the temple itself, so let's get the sword out. And prepare ourselves for the Onyx Tower, the final area of the game. Got to fight Eldrith and get to the end of this uh, craziness. Why are there two save points in here? Isn't that a bit redundant? Shouldn't you just have one? Okay, whatever. But anyway, yeah, make, make sure that you save in a separate file for this part. So that way, in just in case you change your mind and want to go back and um, see, yeah. in case you change your mind you want to go back so 
Um, we will get better, like, melee weapons and stuff like that. In oh, we do get... No huh. We'll have to keep that in mind. I didn't know. Uh, I guess it's the game saying, hey, make sure you, bought you didn't buy arrows. Okay, well, here you go. Let's, let's give you some... No, I didn't. Uh-oh. Uh, I think those are gargoyles, if I remember correctly. Did we fight them before? I don't remember that. Well, since we got arrows, might as well use them. Yeah. You guys are a little pain in the butt. That's what you guys are. But... Okay. Let's see if I can pick up one of those uh, arrows. Nope. No room okay. For well, we'll just come back. Now that I know that there's at least 40 there, I'm ready to go. Maybe we should have uh, made it. No. Oops. doing a very good job hitting this thing with my even though I have a plus five to hit. Maybe because these guys are so fast. Like they do a decent amount of damage, but not so crazy that I have to run from them the whole time. There we go. I'm not strong enough to carry anymore. Holy cow, yeah, see like I bought some potions, but I wanted to buy some extra, so just in case it like gets too bad, you know. You can still the game gives them to you. But, and this area has three floors, so it's not a. No. Sorry, I'm just paying attention to make sure I'm not getting hit or anything. Like that. I wouldn't say be luxurious with your casting, but you can you can take a few hits and be fine. So. No room. Set of leather I'll plus three, which I don't think would be better because I think set of leather is like. Six or whatever, so yeah, we can leave that alone. I have no room for that. Yeah, these uh these gargoyles are pesky creatures. Let's see if I can just like take the hits. Oops. No. Yeah, nasty little buggers. Yeah, more coins for for stuff we can't buy. Cool. I appreciate that. No room. I'll have to come back for this. Yes, I will. At some point. Ah. Oh yeah, it's been a while since we ran into like. Uh, let's see what's my. Well, since we ran into traps, what was it like chapter one or something like that? Because I don't think we had any chapter two. Okay, what do we got? Half plate no mail. I. That might be better this. than what I've got. Oh, but it'll be heavier. Because plate mail is, let's see, half plate. I think half plate mail is like 29, but it's like double the weight. So, no, I'll delete that. It'd be awesome if I had less weight, so. But, but yeah, see how the game does give you armor and stuff like that, so. Look at all these potions, see? Yeah, just because you can buy it doesn't mean the game's going to screw you. Like, and I'll leave that there, because I think as long as I don't leave the tower... Or as long as, as long as I don't uh, actually, if I load a save spot, it might might do something like that. But... Oops. Turn around. There we go. That better not get a. Yeah, go ahead and heal. Actually, I need to remind myself to use the um, the weaker. Let's see, what do we get? Just chainmail? Nah, that's better, but it weighs too much. I remember that everything that drops is like extras, like so. so. I'm gonna make sure to use these first, so that way I can get them out of the way. Oh, yeah, I forgot that magic tiny <laughs> ball. Uh... Oh right, I don't remember to use the actual potion so I can get them out of my inventory. Aha! Yeah, look at this. Like, I wasn't. I, it'd been a while since I played this. I forgot how like how um. How effective the game was with giving you stuff at the final area. So I mean, it looks like in this case they do give you a lot of stuff. So uh -oh, now, like I said I'm just trying. That's why I almost thought about just selling the the stuff just because like th they're going to give us extras at the very end. So and I'd rather get um, use those up before the um, extras that we're getting here. I'll probably come back after after a point and pick up the rest of the stuff. I don't want to use it lib. I don't want to use it to the point where I can't like. Um, 
Let's see if I can go through that. Oh, I can't go through that, so I can just zap them while... Ah, wasn't close enough. Use the sword again. Ooh -hoo. Yeah, it's, I think almost every enemy drops like a, um, an item, so so you don't have to worry too much about about no drops. I think they I think they increase the the drop rate by like a, t a bunch. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the. Oops. I don't know the percent. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't get hit as much as I did, frankly. Because of uh, me not blocking, right? Uh oh, we got a uh, bronze golems here. I think, or, or I actually, I think they're iron golems. Now that I think about it, I mean, actually, they move kind of fast for being iron. Actually, I'm actually kind of surprised. Oh yeah, the oh well, I guess there's they're not more. Unfortunately, since there's really no strength and weaknesses in this game, as I'm aware of, there's no like. Um, like a steel, a, an iron golem would initially would be susceptible to um, those that spell, but in this case, there's no. Uh, oh, I got. Oh, wow! He could, like crit me or something like that. Holy cow! Dang! All right. I didn't realize he crit me that badly or something like that. He hit me like really nastily too. So, all right, cool. We'll have to. Well, let me, since we got, I think we got to the water pool, so we'll go this way for now, since I already showed a lot of that. I'll try to get back there in the next episode. That way I don't have to worry about cutting and stuff like that. But man, I can't believe he got a good hit on me like that. Dang. Like, like I swear I was at full HP before he hit me, so. I guess mid, the range, range, the range, uh, short sword, wouldn't need short sword plus four. See what that is. If that's worth keeping, no. Nah, yeah, drop that. As much as, like I said, we can't go back and sell stuff anyway, so there's no point in keeping stuff to weigh me down if it's not gonna, if it's not gonna be useful. Oh, I, what? oh, I guess he got hit by a couple of lightning balls before then. So, well, at least uh, having a reset means I can utilize these uh, lesser rejuves before I, uh, uh, before I use those extra ones. See what's in here. Got a spiked morning star plus five. That might be. Well, of course, it's a bit weighty though. Um, yeah, I think it weighs like. I might have to. I might just drop something like heavy just to see if it if it uh. <laughs> just put her in the nude. Um. Oh wow, that's fifty one. Um. The only problem is I don't have the weight for that. Oh, uh, that's a that's actually really good actually. The only problem is it's a bit slow, but it has guaranteed 51 damage roughly. And I, I have the bow for ice, so what I'll do is I'll probably end up trying to use like a lot of these potions off screen or not on well on screen and then to so I can grab that uh. So yeah, look at all those potions. <laughs> Actually, does that tie into the room we were just in? It might actually. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know iron golems got poison. I don't think they do. I think that's just uh, an extra thing for the game to throw in, just to throw throw me off. But yeah, iron iron golems, as far as I'm aware, of, aren't supposed to spit poison at you. Okay, no, this isn't. No, I think it does tie into that previous area, huh? Well, I'll just clean up that one bit like later off screen. So that way I don't have to, since I just did that, for the most part. Oh, I gotta get some sword out. Oh crap, Jesus. These guys are like heinous. I didn't, I think it's just because of how fast they hit that, that uh, um, it just added up like really, really fast, you know what I mean? Sorry, me having to get to the healing potion like as fast as I can. So. I think I have enough weight. Okay, let's drop the mithril dagger now. I mean, yeah, it's only one weight, but let's see how fast it is. That's fast enough, I guess. Not as fast as the dagger, but we'll take it. 
Okay, well, like I said, I'll go back that way later after I am. Um, and then I'll just do that off and then I'll just do that off screen. I'll let you know if I get any, like, um, extra, like, new stuff. Like, ran since since there's a couple of chests back then there that, uh, I got reset because I died. Yeah, it's nice having, like, clear, concise damage for once. I mean, the dagger was nice because of the, the, uh, the slow effect, but it is nice to just be like, hey, it's always gonna do 50 damage no matter what you do. Huh, weird, huh? Oh, wow, that's a lot of them. But luckily, they're in a line, so. All right, got some sword. And watch out for his poison. This is a really good run for the ball of lightning just because of the, uh, uh just because of the hallway mentality. On in the, the, what the uh, icy burst. I well, I can't carry that anyway because it's adamantine. So never mind. I was gonna pick it up. I was like, wait a minute. I can't use that because it's two-handed. That would be for the dwarf. As far as I know, the human fighter can't use two-handed weapons. At least I don't believe he has a has a feat or ability that lets him do that. So. Yeah, no, now I can kind of actively consider using, um, let's see, last sword, let's see. It's less, but the Morningstar does initially more damage, so we'll drop that. It'd almost be kind of fun just to kind of re-go through this area later, like, like reload at a point just to see like what random magical item drops you get at this point by the game, you know, because of the uh, randomization of drops and everything. Yeah, I've got to come back before. Oh, I guess the um, stairway. Oh, uh oh, that's not good. Shouldn't have run in there. Oh wait, no, I could have gone through the other side. It just for some reason it seemed like I couldn't go over there for some reason. Luckily, yeah, I to yeah, one of the few times I'm summoning my ma using my magic more liberally because of all the potions you get. So nothing wrong with just spamming uh, ball lightning all day. As far as I'm not hitting uh, better, uh, now almost done. Then I can then I won't have to mess with like going to the menu anymore. Because, like I said, I want to get rid of these regulars before I start getting all those extras that are around the place. So. Well, I'll grab the ones I can anyway. Oh, there's, I didn't know there was a safe spot in that one room. I think I was close, dang it. That's how it is. You're, you're always so close to the, uh... Oh, always so close to... Oh, always so close to a safe spot, and then uh, something happens. So. Nice. Okay. Almost done. Or, almost out of a regular reduce. Oh, arrows. I haven't actually been using them because yeah, we'll go ahead and save over that old file. The basement, huh? Yeah, we have to get up to the third floor is where we're going, so. Very nice. I said the game's giving me like a ton of potions at every every go. So if you're if you're dying, I mean if you're if you're dying here, you're probably playing on hard mode. Unlike you know, or being a really uh, poor decision of uh, when to use potions and stuff. But yeah, as soon as I get rid of the healings and everything like that, I'll just I'll be more liberal in my use because I can just don't have to go to the menu all the time. And obviously, I don't want to get hit. You know. Yeah, well, thanks for. That's it for that. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about, like, rejuvenation potions anymore. I can just start grabbing them. Or at least for the most part. I mean, depending on the weight, I might still drop. Um, I guess I didn't need to buy all those arrows. 
And I wasn't sure how often they were going to drop arrows at this point, you know. Ooh, I got, a, got some nice crits there. Double damage. Double damage. Whoa. Okay. Ah, oh, they don't get hit by the man, uh, by the, by the thing. Boo. <laughs> I can't believe they, of course they don't get hit by the, by the trap. Why would they, you know? Come on, there we go. Wait, what'd you, <laughs> oh, that thing flew. I mean, I don't think it does a ton of damage if I remember, but you still don't, you know, we can help it. I don't want to take the damage. Roll to the, roll to the, oops. Oh God, see, told you. <laughs> Sorry, I have to, that up is that I have to kind of go out this, that I have to kind of go out of my way to, oh, they do get hit. I guess I just got unlucky the first time. When I, cause you did see the damage, so, hmm. all right. I was, I was like, is it almost out of, I was like, is it almost out of uh, arrows? The only bad thing here is that, like, I can't really arrow because the, uh, too much because the gargles are too fast. Alright. There we go. Man, hopefully at some point we'll get a really nice bow. Uh, at some point. Uh oh. Yeah, don't spit on me. Don't, uh, was it? Oh, whoops, I was on the wrong. Ah, dang it. <laughs> If only, uh, if I could somehow get them to the trap, you know. Oh, God. Yeah, I wonder if I could get him in, get him stuck in. Oh, nope, I killed him before. Dang it. Dropped a, they dropped a ring, too. Which one is it? Ring of Strength plus four. That doesn't really help me, weirdly enough. Well, actually, no, it, it'll give me more. Um, yeah, there's actually a weird glitch where you can actually... Um, take off your rings to like pick up some things um, and like you can carry you basically carry so much stuff take off your rings and clip something else it's like a weird with them actually at this point I might with them actually at this point I might as well drop the that ring yeah it's not much but because I, my my strength is odd but i'm doing it mainly for the the carry capacity i'm not actually doing it for um this actual to hit that would be that's nice that'll help for the final battle uh but because i'll need to be able to at least somewhat hit because ball of lightning will do damage but it won't do the damage i want which is what the morton Kitan's blade is for it'll help me uh, oh whoops uh, there we go sorry i was I was gonna go to the menu and I forgot. Oh wait, I, I killed most of the rejuvenation potions, so so I don't have to do that anymore. Hmm. Okay, treasure. Okay. And of course, as soon as I wanna, I need the sword. He's not here. Ow. Stupid gargoyles hit me like a Tonka truck. Yeah, I said it. Uh, yeah, well, there's another one of those. Okay, now I don't have to worry about going to the menu anymore. I mean, unless I want to, like, take a quick breather, you know, in between uh, uh, encounters, you know. Must have, that guy must have gotten hit by a previous ball of lightning. Hit by a previous ball of lightning. Ooh, maybe a good bow? Maybe. We'll see. What do we got? Um, ooh, that is... Well, let's see. Uh, Frost Darkwood, short bow. It doesn't have a burst, which means I don't think it... Well... I don't think it's... Uh, well, I might still do the slowdown. I thought burst meant... I think burst means, it, if I recall, does extra damage when it crits. Um, or it has a higher chance of critting one of the two. 
I'll do that up again. That's one of the ones I don't remember as much, but yeah, might as well. The minimum is better. So, so if anything, oh, we killed a iron golem while we were in the area, huh? So, okay. I think there's a, a gargoyle in there. Yeah, I get a few free hits before the game decides to start attacking me. Huh? What do we got here? Fine, keen, best. Sword. Probably not better than what I've got, but we'll see. Let's look. No. It's nice, and I can't use it anyway, so there we go. I was hoping to see if we could get to wait one more save spot before we call it an episode, so we'll see what happens. Yep, more. If it wasn't for all the, like, potions that the game's giving me, I don't think gargoyles damage me. Gar gargoyles damage me. But because I've, there's so many potions I can go back and get, I can't really complain. Not really. Apparently the he got a weird attack pattern. Like when he kept getting hit by the sword, it kept making him go around in circles. Going around in circles. And we're going around. Oh, we finally made a safe spot. So a good spot to... Uh, because I'll have to go back off screen and get go back through that other area and pick up all the potions I missed because I've got quite a bit well not much room uh, it doesn't help that I'm using the uh, uh, that uh, morning star I hope uh, hopefully I get a I think morning stars if I remember ma uh, bashing weapons I think have more consistent damage than like bladed weapons if I remember at least in the game not in D&D &D or whatever so all right, well, it looks like we've hit the Onyx Tower itself. It has oodles and boodles and canoodles of magical items. But will it be enough to get to the top of the tower? Find out next time in the next episode of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.